Hello, my coffee break clubbers. This is Dr. Andrea, excited to start another week with you on our month-long discussion on leadership. Remember, we're discussing and working on ourselves in different aspects of leadership throughout the month of March. I'm excited for our next topic, which is law of process. So I hope you're ready. If you don't have your download uh, study guide just yet, be sure to do that when we finish up our video so that you can continue to kind of to capture the nuggets that we talk about today. Well, like I said, today we're going to talk about the law of process. And this is actually in the 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership by John C. Maxwell. This is where he talks about leadership develops daily, not in a day. And I know that sounds crazy. If you look at how today's world is, of course you can build, become a leader in an overnight success. Of course you can have a six-figure salary if you take my course in just three days. You know the stuff that kind of pops up in our feed from time to time. Well, the truth is, and you and I both know that, that's why we're doing the work that we do, is the fact that it doesn't happen overnight. It actually does take time. And I wish somebody would have reminded me of this particular law when I left my corporate job. I thought somehow I was going to walk out of one season and walk into the next one. And everything that I had learned from the last season, of course, it was going to be relevant for, the, uh, for this season. And everything that I needed, I actually already had. Well, the truth is, it didn't happen that way. I thought somehow I could avoid the pain of going through the process. And you don't. The, in order for you to have sustained success in any part of your life, you have to go through a process to get there. You got to weed out those bad habits and you got to put in some good habits. And, and then you have to build those daily disciplines. And one of the daily disciplines I had to kind of work on was how I manage my time. For some reason, it seemed like it was different when I was in corporate and someone else managed my calendar. And I knew where work fit in and I knew that when I got off from work, I would go home and I would go to family. Well, now that I am my back office and I'm my front office for my own business, it's not like that. I had to learn how to manage my time so that I would carve out time so that I could learn and strategize and read and kind of feed myself so that I could be full, so I could feed others in the work that I do. And then I also had to find time for personal time, the time that I just needed for myself, whether that would be to exercise or to get my hair done or even to anything like that. And then I had to put in time for my family. And so what I found is that when I was just doing, 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 I didn't have time for some of this other stuff. So I had to build in new disciplines and I had to reinvent the process. So it has been a journey and it's been a process of learning and failing and learning again and putting new things in and trying new things. But it's work that I continue to do and it helps me grow as a leader. Now it's your turn. I want you to take a look at some of those processes, excuse me, some of those disciplines that you have where you could change your process in order for you to continue to grow as a leader. Well, that's it. It's time to get to work. Get your coffee ready, download your study guide, and go ahead and start answering the questions about the law of process. And I'll see you next week. Have a great week. Bye-bye.